So there you go, guys, on YouTube. Here is a video I've done with a uh, young golfer today. This is Josh Forshaw, who's 14 at the moment, and only been playing a couple of years, and he's already down to 17. We've had a week's worth of golf lessons this week, part of his uh, school almost pr activity week. He's at Manchester Grammar School, MGS here, and we've, taught, we've had him in for uh, Monday to Thursday. Each, less, each day for an hour, and also then we're looking for uh, a playing lesson tomorrow as well. Josh has made some significant changes to his golf swing. This was his very first lesson here on the screen now. Um, you can see a couple of things just in his, in his uh, downswing here on the left-hand side. Josh would generally hit the ball too far left to right, or pull the golf ball too much as well. There was no real consistency and also losing Power. Now, obviously, Josh is going to develop. He's going to get an awful lot stronger, um, and he will hit the ball an awful lot further. But this is the first lesson here on the on the screen at the moment, and you can see on the image on the right how upright the shaft angle is. So you can see how much the shaft angle on the way down is super, super upright. So he would come over the top of the golf swing, and we end up cutting across it in a in a way to try and kind of cancel out the ball going to the left. He would curve it back towards the right. So what we've worked hard on, this was like say first lesson, we've worked hard on a couple of main aspects really, one of them being the, the, the grip, let me show you this first, let me show you a really nice one of his of his setup, so he's, he's really thinking about his grip now when he's taking hold of the golf club, we'll give him some really good parameters on his grip as well to get him in the right position. We've also talked about this week, let me move these lines, they're jumping all over the place, we've also talked about this week about how we're going to rotate our body better and use the force of our... Uh, the whole of our body rather than just using your arms and that for a young golfer is something that often I see you know for a 14 year old he's trying to smash it with his arms and he needs Josh needs to learn and many golfers out there young golfers uh, some of you watch him out of sons and daughters who are kind of similar age to Josh that they've got to learn to use the body more effectively it's more of a rotation of the body turning of the core and the body rather than just letting the arms do all the work that way Josh was hitting some awesome awesome golf shots we kind of increase the distance pretty much by every club by about 10 15 yards josh josh is sat next to me now nodding his head you know we've increased distance of pretty much every golf club this week but then it's this is the swing i wanted to show you this driver swing i love it i think this is a massive improvement so remember before where he was coming over the top big big slice big banana shot would kind of carry a golf ball with a driver about 150 160 and today we managed to crack into 170s and almost get into the 180 and the idea was just changing this downswing angle we talked about turning the back to the target so the club would face the target at uh, the back would face the target from that point there we've talked about trying to keep the heels back and the bum back this is another big big trait that I see with a lot of young golfers they try and hit it by moving the hips towards the golf ball they don't rotate and stay in a very squatted position so that's what we've worked on with Josh the feeling of trying to stay back and just look at this I mean this is just amazing the club head there is just behind the hands he then comes into the golf ball from a more inside line and because he's rotated his body almost too much I'll be honest with you Josh is very flexible he's rotated his body so much he's practically facing the target as he hits there but that's not an issue but he just hit some arrow arrow straight shots and and often when he swung it at his absolute best would hit a lovely little draw as well and like i say we've increased the distance by kind of 15 20 yards on the carry distance alone so the total distance will have even more on that so guys thanks so much for watching if you've enjoyed the video and kind of like to see uh, the development of how a young golfer I and mean, it's very different coaching a young golfer because a lot of their traits um are going to change over the next they could change every month you know as josh grows as he gets bigger as he gets stronger a lot of his swing changes are going to change so i would say any advice if you have got a young golfer in the family who's trying to trade is just make kind of smaller changes and get them on the right track because in a few months six months a year down the line they're going to be a completely different mold of person they'll be stronger they'll be taller they'll be bigger and the swings are hot get harder to tweak and change as they're kind of developing as a person as well um i would definitely advise if you again if you've got a young golfer out there that's playing get them booked in for lessons 100 percent. you know you've got to get them on the right track early on otherwise they can fall into bad habits guys thanks so much for watching if you've enjoyed watching josh's video please do give it a thumbs up he's an avid youtube follower so he i'm sure he'll be commenting down below to give his input uh, and just 
Josh also just I want to put, touch on that it's been a pleasure working with you this week uh, I feel like your, your, your attitude your manners your whole kind of ethos about the game is just incredible for such a young golfer well done I look forward to seeing you again in the future and guys if you've enjoyed it please do subscribe